to tell us the journey of your life. Thank you very much, Chairman. I'm happy to be here. My name is Eliud Okechowalo. I was born on 27th February, the year 1967, in Asembo. Asembo is in Rarieda district of Siaya County. I went to the local Oboch Primary School before proceeding to Maseno National School for my O levels, and then subsequently to St. Mary's School Yala for my A levels. I then joined Kenyatta University, Mr. Chairman, to pursue my Bachelor of Arts degree in Economics and Business Studies, which I successfully completed graduating with a second class honors degree in economics and business studies, Mr. Chairman. I also hold a master's, I'm an MBA degree from the University of Nairobi with a specialization in human resource management. As we speak, I'm at the tail end of my PhD program at the University of Nairobi pursuing a PhD in strategic management. I'm done with the coursework. I'm now progressing to the level of the thesis, Mr. Chairman. Professionally, I'm based on my 22 years of experience in consultancy within the HR regime. I'm a fellow of the Institute of Human Resource Management, Mr. Chairman. My professional background is and I'm an economist by profession, a human resource management uh, expert, and I'm also a strategy expert. So I've been practicing since the year 2001 as an economist, management consultant, and strategy expert, Mr. Chairman. My areas of co-competency or specialization, Mr. Chairman, are micro and macroeconomic analysis, strategic planning, organizational restructuring, job evaluation, and management of strategic change, over and above facilitation of various management development programs in the areas such as leadership, performance management, management of change, and so on and so forth, Mr. Chairman. I've been practicing as the managing consultant of Eliud and Associates since inception on 6 February 2001. Specifically, Mr. Chairman, with respect to strategic planning, which is my main forte, I've had the honor and privilege of going through an extensive existential experience of having been the consultant for development of most of the strategic plans in this country in the public sector. With respect to ministerial strategic plans, in the year 2008, I was the consultant for development of the strategic plan for Ministry of Justice, which was voted the best strategic plan at that point in time among the ministerial strategic plans, Mr. Chairman. Among ministries, I've had the honor of being the consultant for strategic plan for Ministry of Lands, Ministry of Environment, Ministry of Labor twice, Ministry of Heritage, Ministry of Cooperative Development, Ministry of Provincial Administration uh, and uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, Interior is, uh, and Provincial Administration, Mr. Chairman. Within Parastatals, I've been privileged to have been the consultant for the development of strategic plan and business plan for the Kenya Ports Authority, Kenya Airports Authority in the year 2010, Kenya National Highways Authority twice in the year 2013 and in 2017, the current strategic plan, Mr. Chairman, for the Kenya School of Government, the first strategic plan for Ketraco, that is Kenya Electricity Transmission Company, the first strategic plan for Competition Authority, the first strategic plan for Kenya Trade Network Agency, the first strategic plan In for the interest of time, that will do. Go on to other areas. <laughs> okay. So, uh, one thing I want to mention with respect to my professional experience is that in the course of development of these strategic plans, Mr. Chairman, and just for purposes of record, there are over 50 which have developed in the recent past in the public sector. I've also had the opportunity of aligning these strategic plans to relevant policy documents. Because organizations don't operate in a vacuum, Mr. Chairman, but do so within a framework of macro level and even regional and international level policy framework, I've had the existential experience of developing and aligning these strategic plans, not just locally to the Kenya Vision 2030 and its successive medium-term plans, but also regionally to the East Africa Community Vision 2050, 
the Africa Union's Agenda 2063 and globally to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So from a policy perspective, Mr. Chairman, based on the mandate that I'm expected to execute if this committee certifies my nomination and of course by extension the full house of parliament um i stand in good stead from a policy perspective to execute that mandate mr chairman i also want to mention that specifically with respect to strategic planning i've had the honor and privilege of having been the consultant for development of the strategic plan for competition authority of kenya mr chairman why am i mentioning this I'm mentioning this because I'm expected to execute a, a, a CS mandate in an industry which has got few players. This industry, Mr. Chairman, needs to be guided by prudent competition laws. And in this respect, the wealth of experience I gained while developing the strategic plan for the competition authority will stand me in good stead as I provide leadership in an industry which is largely characterized by monopolistic, duopolistic, oligopolistic, and perhaps monopolistic tendencies, Mr. Chairman. I'm talking about an industry, Mr. Chairman, with few players, either one, two, three, or with few players but differentiated products. That's what I've said in short. Also, Mr. Chairman, I've been the consultant for development of strategic plan for Kentred, and this prepares me adequately to discern how to use e-commerce in the conduct of business, which is also integral in the ICT sector. That has prepared me adequately. Also, I've been the consultant about 10 years ago for development of strategic plan for the Africa Telecommunications uh, research Institute, that is AFRALTI. This is a training institution for that industry, and I've gotten a wealth of experience in discerning the operational environment within which telecommunications sector operates, Mr. Chairman. Apart from that, Mr. Chairman, I've had existential experience of serving as a council member of the Kenya School of Government, and my experience in that space also prepares me adequately to understand the operations of the public sector. So in short, Mr. Chairman, the wealth of existential experience spanning over 22 years which I've gained in the public sector prepares me adequately to understand, comprehend the operational environment within the public sector operates, the policy frameworks that guide or govern that sector, and emerging issues in the operational environment that we need to align to moving forward, Mr. Chairman. Within the political space, Mr. Chairman, may I also mention for purposes of clarity that I've had the opportunity to serve in the year 2012-2013 as the head of the Code Presidential Campaign Secretariat, Mr. Chairman, and also Chief Campaign Manager to the then Code Presidential Candidate. Subsequent to that, I've also had a stint within the ANC party, where I also served as a close ally and strategic advisor to the party leader then of the ANC party, Honorable Musalia Mudavadi, and also ran for a parliamentary seat during the elections, by elections in Kibra in the year 2019. Subsequent to that, Mr. Chairman, I've been a part and parcel of the Kenya Kwanzaa presidential campaign being a member of the Presidential Campaign Steering Council, being a member of the Economic Advisory Team, which came up with the bottom-up model and also developed the plan, the economic uh, uh, the, the, the campaign manifesto, popularly known as the plan, and subsequently also developed the 48 uh, charters on the basis of which we made commitments to the people by way of what we are going to do in, with respect to service delivery once the, we come into government. I've also served as Deputy Secretary General of the UDA Party, responsible for policy and strategy, Mr. Chairman, but I've since then resigned, vacated that position, effective 11th of October 2022. So moving forward, what I'm saying in a nutshell, Mr. Chairman, is that I'm fully prepared for this position and I'm ready to execute this mandate if I'm cleared by this committee. Thank you, Elliot. We'll now 
invite members to ask you any questions or to make any statement towards your nomination and I'll start with the debut speaker.